My name is Andy from the YouTube channel, How To Make Everything. CuriosityStream challenged me to explore what if you couldn't buy lumber? Lumber prices this past year have been astronomical. So I'm gonna see what it would take to try and make my own from waste products such as cardboard, plastic, and sawdust. Basically what I'm gonna be trying to recreate is the modern wood composite. This is a material that's made from a combination of wood particles and plastic, which has unique attributes that make it preferable for certain situations. So normally composite wood is a lot more expensive than normal wood, but with today's prices, that might be more achievable. And uh, my secret weapon is gonna be using all recycled material. So theoretically, this is not gonna have any material cost to produce my actual lumber. The sticking point might be the amount of labor it takes to actually make it. But if you have a lot of free time on your hand, this is potentially a way to make free wood. There's a few challenges I expect along the way, both in uh, getting a good shape, in my form and also good composition and mixture. Last time in my last project, I'm trying to turn grass into ethanol. One of the biggest shortcomings I ran into was reducing the particle size. And I expect that's gonna be another challenge in this project in trying to grind up all of my products. That'll probably be one of the biggest challenges. And the next will be just engineering something that actually works for pressing it and trying to get the right ratio of plastic and wood. And oftentimes they add other components into it as well. So this is gonna be a little bit of an experiment, kind of a few challenges that hopefully I can make some usable lumber to actually build something with. First up to collect the raw resources. Just through myself and donations from friends, I was able to get a pretty large supply of usable plastic waste, as well as a large supply of cardboard, as well as sawdust just from the floor of the workshop. Then I purchased a few extra tools to help grind everything up. The wood chipper proved to be kind of worthless and plastic just got jammed inside. So instead I had to resort to hand cutting a lot of it. Eventually I figured out that an electric can planer can be pretty effective at cutting them up and roughly followed some directions I found online to crudely cut and weld a frame to feed the bits of plastic into the planer, grinding them to small chunks. So when it comes to wood composites, they're generally made up of wood particles and plastic particles. The plastic is usually a thermal plastic, which is a plastic that when heated up becomes malleable, like Play-Doh. So there's two main ways to basically form it into the shape you want. The most common way is called an extruder. And I got the Play-Doh extruder here to demonstrate. You melt up your plastic mixed in with your wood and your other materials, and you push it through a tube, you fill whatever shape you want to extrude it. However, it's a little bit complicated because you need a heating apparatus and a screw to push everything through while it's still hot. There's an easier way. The results are probably not gonna be as good, but it'll be easier to make. And when you're trying to do it yourself, it's probably a better bet. I'm gonna do the simpler method. I heat everything up into a gooey Play-Doh-y mess. And I'm just gonna squish it. <laughs> and it's build a basic mold, squish it together and get roughly the shape of my board. This is just an excuse for me to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> First up, I went to the scrapyard and was able to collect a few different pieces of steel that I think will make a good mold. So this one right here, which is a, kind of a two by four shape. So I'm gonna cut off the top of this and then have a basically a U shape with a top plate and then as it heats up and gets to the right temperature, I can then pump some hydraulic jacks and crush it and press it together to be nice and firm. In addition to more of a structural two by four, I also wanna make something a little bit more like a sheathing layer, kind of like a plywood or a siding. So I got this, which is a little bit wider, a little bit shorter, it already came as a U shape. And then got a third piece here to act as a, the top press down into it. So the next step is gonna to be to cut out the top of this one and then weld some caps on the end of them so that when they get squished down, my gooey composite doesn't shoot out. Now 
Before I move to the recycled plastic boards, I thought I'd try a simpler technique first that is similar to how plywood like OSB is made. Gluing wood fibers together with the urea formaldehyde glued and pressing them into a solid block. Unfortunately, this result was pretty ineffective, resulting in a very weak board that crumbled when I tried to take it out. So let's just move on to trying it with the actual recycled plastic and see if I can get a better result with that. Okay, so I was able to uh, cut and weld the metal frames and then laid out some ceramic insulation around them to basically build a makeshift kiln. And then I have the heating element wrapped around at the bottom, separated by fire brick. Might short out when it, if it touches, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. And then I have it all wired up here with a solid state relay and it's got a thermocouple that will read the temperature and then basically control it to keep it to the right temperature, which will be relatively important when melting plastic because most of the plastic I'm gonna try and do is not toxic at a low temperature where it's just low enough to melt it. But if I get too high, then it starts to release toxic fumes and that's not fun. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself or short everything out, but let's give it a shot. So this is in Fahrenheit, I hope, otherwise I'd be dead. Unfortunately, that is how hot it is in here. Set to 100, slowly heating up. Thermocouple is reading that. Relay is on, heat is on. I could feel it coming out of there. So I think, I think we are all set. It actually worked. Now to kind of wire this up in something a little bit safer and uh, we can start making some lumber. Let's move on to the composite wood and see if I can get something a little bit more usable. Loading out the long mold with chunks and ground particles of plastic mixed it in with some fine sawdust. I'm gonna hold off on the cardboard for now as it might have been the cause of the failure of the first attempt. Then heating the plastic to its melting point, I then started to apply pressure and press everything together. Just a quick reminder, if you want smart, fun content like this video in the future, go ahead and subscribe to Curiosity Stream's YouTube channel since they are the ones helping me do all of these challenges. I did the first attempt with pressing the composite materials and the end result is not very great. It's very crumbly and a lot of it did not mix very good and just kind of falls apart. Also soaked in around the edges of the top plate and is now stuck to it in a lot of places. So not very usable. It also turned out really thin. I thought I put a lot in there, but it uh, compacts down quite a bit. So I'm gonna try a few different things to hopefully try and remedy this. I think one of the biggest issues with this first attempt was that my I used really fine sawdust in fairly large plastic chunks. And this might have been also an issue with the particle board that I tried to make with really large chunks of cardboard. If I'm able to get the different materials of the composite to similar sizes and then pre-mix it, I can probably get a much better result. So you need to grind up the plastic into a lot finer powder, probably use a larger sawdust, matches that size as well, and then probably get the cardboard a little bit smaller than now it comes out of the shredder. So this is definitely gonna add a lot more man hours to the process, but I'm hopeful we can get this to work. So first of all, I need to grind up the plastic a little bit better. The little uh, shredder I was able to use the wood planer for worked fairly good, but still pretty tedious to feed every little piece of plastic into there and make sure it's the right size before it goes in. Instead, I'm gonna try basically throwing everything into a big pot and melting it into a giant glob. I can just go at it with the hand planer. So I'm hoping that should allow me to get a large supply of relatively finely ground plastic. And then for the cardboard, it's still fairly large with it going through the shredder. So I'm going through a process of boiling it to kind of break it down a little bit with uh, some added lye to help break it down even more. And then run it through a, the blender, get to a fine pulp and then dry out into chunks.
Unfortunately, even with more evenly sized particles, the second attempt yielded a very similar crumbly result without much integrity. So I think the only solution is going to be to go even finer. It's going to be really difficult to do at a large scale. So I think I'm going to have to scale things down. An unfortunate workshop fire caused the loss of some of my tools and access to my main workshop. So we're going to have to wait until a second part to really scale this up into something more usable. So after several attempts, we actually have a fairly decent and solid result. This is a wood substitute that was successfully made using just recycled materials, just pieces of plastic garbage, discarded cardboard boxes, and sawdust. And together it formed a fairly decent and hard surface. It was only when I went through and just ground everything as fine as possible using the expensive blender and uh, got it into a relatively fine powder, then was able to get a pretty decent result. I'd say it's the equivalent of a decent particle board, something that you could punch through, but uh, you could technically make furniture out of. This stands up a lot better than all of the other attempts. And even still, there's very clear opaque pieces in here where things are not evenly, perfectly mixed. And I think that's why it's still a little bit brittle. But I think this is a pretty solid proof of concept. This is all recycled material. So technically this is completely free. That being said, it did take a few hours to process all the materials and grind them up. Um, so it's maybe a 25 to $40 piece of wood. Plus there was a lot of upfront equipment costs. The electric planer, the blender, the toaster oven, and then the paper shredder. It's about, so almost $600 really to achieve this in an industrial scale, you're gonna need some industrial equipment that we'll use in the extruder that in the process of kind of compacting everything is also mixing it. And I think that's going to yield a much better result than this. So I'm gonna do a follow up video where I'm basically going to build some industrial equipment myself to both shred and then extrude this. And I think they'll have a much better results. I think it'll really open the door to mass producing some usable lumber that is effectively free because it's made entirely out of recycled items. So you'll have to check out that next video will be coming up pretty soon. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel right now and look for Curiosity Stream on social media. Links in the description. Also, if you have any ideas on how to make this experiment work better, feel free to leave them in the comments below.